Machete Specialist wants to make sure that you know how to use your machete. So today we're going to go over a few different machete grips to show you how to get the best performance out of your machete without getting blisters on your hands. Commonly people hold the machete too hard, therefore getting blisters on their hand, straining their hand, and impeding the performance of their machete. When people first pick up a machete and start using it, you'll see that they put a death grip on it and hold on for dear life. This normally results in blisters all along the fingers. A blister is a small formation of fluid on the upper layers of the skin. The fluid bubble acts as a cushion, protecting the tender tissue underneath. These pictures are from other participants in a jungle survival trip in Peru, illustrating common machete hot spots. The injuries were caused by a hard grip. Okay, so you see the death grip probably isn't the best bet to go. So you want to loosen up your grip a little bit. If you're starting out, you may want to put a lanyard on the end of your machete and attach it to your wrist because if this machete goes flying into your foot or thigh, it's going to impede the performance of your machete. And we want to make sure that you get the most performance out of your machete that you can. So we're going to go over the pinch grip today, which is just taking your forefinger and your thumb and holding it loosely. Trying to get a villager to explain this to you would be kind of hard, especially if you know Abba. So first take your thumb, throw it on one side, forefinger on the other, and let the other fingers just loosely hold it so that you can do this flicking motion. Now you see how to hold the machete. We'll go over how to use it in a swing. You want this machete to work for you. You don't want to sit there and <clears throat> power it all day long. Just use a simple pinch grip with a flick at the arc of the swing. Don't overthink it, just use a pinch grip and cut. You can start with a very small area and still be able to cut with the pinch grip. The loose grip of the pinch grip makes itself the most apparent in machetes that have a lot of length behind them. Utilizing the pinch grip, it assures that you don't have a lot of wrist strain and makes the whole activity a lot less strenuous. You're making the power behind this work for you. Just utilizing that flick and the loose grip. The pinch grip can be utilized for chopping too. You get just as much power and penetration into the wood as you would if you had held the death grip and gave it as hard as you could.